Cambridge Assessment International Education. This is for O level papers, additional mathematics, paper one. October November twenty twenty three. Uh, its exam duration is two hours. And you know, all the informations are given. It is eighty marks papers. Marks are given, and T S F you must write the answers and one decimal places for angles. If it uh, in degree, unless different level of accuracy is specified in the question so uh, follow that instructions always and note down candidate names center number candidate number according to your statement of entry now let us uh, the all the formulas are given here you can check if you uh, find if you forget anything you can check it and trigonometry few formulas are given the first question is that number one that is there's a graph given the graph meet the x axis at uh, minus 1 by 3 1 and 5 by 2 it is meet at uh, minus 15 now you need we need to find out the expression for fx obviously in factorized form the marks is given you know uh, 3 so we can write uh, this as a uh, fx equals to uh, with some constant uh, it may be we can write we don't know what is that uh, what is what can be the constant x minus I mean plus 1 by 3 x minus 1 and x minus uh, uh, that is 5 by 2 and we can simplify this before simplifying uh, uh, we can apply on this uh, this point i mean minus 15 uh, uh, on y axis uh, the value is 0 minus 15 so x can be replaced by x can be replaced by 0 and fx can be replaced by minus 15 now we can simplify to find out the constant a so let me put here minus 15 and then a uh, into 1 by 3 into minus 1 into minus 5 by 2 now let us simplify uh, the simplification part minus minus this will be plus then we can write uh, 3 to the 6 15 times 6 5a then a equals to uh, I mean we can write here uh, uh, 3 5s are 15 3 6s are minus 18 now let me put these values of a uh, 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 let me write minus 18 then x plus 1 by 3 then x minus 1 and x minus 5 by 2 and if you wish you can simplify more you can do some lcm of 3 and uh, in this case and that case you can do some lcm you can write that uh, that is as uh, 3x plus 1 uh, the denominator will be 3 x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 so denominator is 6 the since second one is 2 6 so 6 and 18 if you simplify it will be 3 6 or 18 that is minus 3 so this is the final answer okay that's great now I think it's a bit easier to solve that one now write down the uh, values of uh, uh, um, x for such that fx less than 0 it is given fx less than 0 let us check the graph so the graphical part what is given there that is the graph is uh, which lies below the x-axis now check this is the bounded part bounded part this lies uh, x lies in between minus 1 by 3 to 1 and this part is extending gradually extending gradually so it is uh, x greater than 5 by 2 so let me write here uh, minus 1 by 3 less than x less than 1 and then uh, uh, or x greater than 5 by 2 so this is done for the question number one now let us try question number two though though it is also a bit easier maths so, since there's some complications for question c so let us try amplitude of g amplitude of g you can see that uh, fx equals to a sine uh, let me consider bx then plus c 
now this a denoted as amplitude so amplitude is 5 amplitude is 5 now the period we need to find out but it is in degree we know a graph of sine is always uh, repeat after 360 degree so we can divide this 360 uh, by since coefficient of x is 3 by 4 so let me divide it by 3 by 4 now if we simplify 360 uh, into 4 by 3 uh, 3 1 3 to the 6 then then it will be 480 degree that means the graph now let us do question uh, C so before solving C let me uh, copy the question a little, little bit here because uh, Gx equals to 5 sine 3 by x uh, 3 by 4 x minus 2 maximum of uh, Gx is if sine x sine uh, 3 by 4 x is 1 uh, Gx of max equals to uh, it is becoming 3 now if sine 3 by 4 x uh, is minus 1 at that time Gx uh, minimum is uh, uh that is minus 7 we know that that is sine x uh sine x for sine maximum is 1 and minimum is minus 1 just sine 3 by 4 i substituted by minus 1 and then want to have gx maximum 3 and gx minimum uh, uh minus 7 so just draw a line though line is given just uh, it is the boundary of the uh i mean graph then 3 we can write we can scale, draw a line here just it's a rough leveling now now if uh, x is 0 point r now let us check randomly uh, the if i put x is 60 what is the value of gx so 5 before that let me check oh it's in degree then sine 3 over 4 into 60 though it is not good practice at all minus 2 so it is 1.5 nearly or it can be here or some at some points then let me put here 120 120 so it is becoming now 3 now it be 180 now it's becoming same as like as 1.5 or something like this now let me put minus 60 so minus 5.53 some maybe here then minus 120 so it is minus 7 and then minus 180 so it is like as minus 5.5 .5. so let me put it here so graph is exactly like as it may be in that way so many ways to solve we can we can we know that uh, y equals to mx plus c y equals to mx plus c here y is ln y so let me substitute it y plus 2 and let me put m as it is i don't know what is the value of f but in, in x axis this is x square this c and this is this one is passing through these points so easily we can find y is 9.37 equals to m x is 2.25 plus c and we can write 3.92 equals to m into 
4.75 plus C. Again, we can do the things in simultaneously, you know. And another method is that we can find out easily gradient of two points. I mean, M equals to 9.37 minus 3.92. This is the another method, okay? Uh, 2.25 minus 4.75. Now we can use calculators to find out gradient M. Maybe it will be 2.18. Now let me check a little bit. nine point three seven minus two point nine two by two point two five minus four point seven five exactly this is at minus two point one eight now we can find out the value of c okay that is to find out c uh, we can use any values uh, 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 y can be substituted by 9.37 then m is minus 2.18 2.25 plus c so uh, if we simplify that time c can be these two goes in the right side if i use calculators i'm not you can check it i am using calculators uh, uh, i mean finding out the result is uh, 14 by 14.3 okay so uh so we can we have got that is l and y equals to l and y plus 2 equals to m is minus 2.18 x square plus 14.3 since in the question it is given to find out the uh, find the value, value i mean y in terms of x so now we can make uh, the, the y plus 2 as a subject then since it is ln so it can be 2.18 x square uh, uh, plus i mean plus 14.3 okay plus 14.3 so if 2 goes in their side it will be y equals 3 to the power minus 2.18 x square plus 14.3 minus 2 that's done so this is the final answer okay let us come for question number 4 Four a. It is given that the first four terms in ascending power of x in the expansion. I mean, we can solve this one binomially. Okay, we can solve this binomially. Written in the form of this one, where n, p, q are integers. Find the value of. A. Then we can expand this and we can compare with that. Okay, let's try. One minus x by two whole n equals to we can write first of all one then minus n x by two plus n and minus one divided by two factorial uh, x by two whole square minus n n minus one and minus two divided by 3 factorial x by 2 whole cube now let us up uh, a little bit we can do simplification 1 minus n by 2x plus 2 factorial 2 2 square 4 so n and minus 1 divided by we can write that is uh, um, 4 to the 8 x square minus uh this is three factorial that is three times two times one three to the six 
and 2 cube 8 so 6 8s are 48 we can write here 48 and n minus 1 and minus 2 x cube now the compare we can compare this uh, things we can compare with that so n by 2 equals to 8 you can write directly n by 2 comparing the coefficient of x n by 2 equals to 8 so n equals to 16 so this i mean it's quite easy to find out the value of n now let us find coefficient of x square so to find the value of p p equals to n n minus 1 divided by 8 so 16 uh, 16 minus 1 divided by 8 now simplify 8 to the 16 i mean 15 15 times 2 that is 30 so this is great it's a very good answer it's quite easy to find out the answer so now the next thing is q q equals to minus n n minus 1 n minus 2 divided by 48 so let me put the value of n n is here 16 minus i mean 15 then uh, uh, 16 minus 2 14 so 48 up it is 14 sorry this is 14 so 16 3 3 5 up 5 14 minus 70 so p's values is 30 and q is a minus 70 so that's the values of n p and q now in that question is uh, given find uh, the terms independent of x in the expansion of that now where you you answer as a rational numbers now let us we can expand it otherwise it's quite difficult to predict or we can do uh, in that way uh, using the formula but let me expand i uh, i think it will be better for us mm, two x square whole six six c one two x square whole five x by three six c two x square whole four x by three those who uh, you can uh, do in a shortcut way also but um, I hope those who cannot memorize the formula it will be better for them plus 6 c3 2 by x square whole 3 x by 3 whole cube 6 c4 2 by x square whole square but this will be x by 3 whole 4 then 5 then 6 now check one thing here that this is x to the over 4 this is also x to the over 4 now this is cancelled so we can choose as the independent terms of x so let us that write in terms the independent of x this is 6 c4 Uh, into 4 by x to the power 4 into x to the power 4 by uh, 3 to the power 4 3 to the 9 981 now if we simplify that uh, using uh, calculators let's let's see uh, 6 sorry 6 shift shift c c 4 that is 15 uh, we can into 4 by 81 4 by 81 so 20 by i mean 27 so 
uh, this also the I mean, grade to grade to solve that one 20 by 27 so this is the uh, final answer for uh, the uh, independent uh, of x in the expansion of that one uh, the, the the things is given in rational numbers okay now let us come for question number five so those so pi so we should solve the things in radian radian form so now before starting sec sec we know that sec theta equals to one by cos theta we can apply this formula so three by cos square 2 theta plus pi by 6 equals to 4 now we can simplify that cos square 2 theta plus pi by 6 i mean 4 equals to 3 uh, so we multiplied both sides by cos square 2 theta plus pi by 6 now we can write that cos square 2 theta plus pi by 6 equals to 3 by 4 now if we do square root up on both sides so we can write cos 2 theta plus pi by 6 equals to plus or minus uh, root over 3 by root over 3 by 4 means root 3 divided by 2 so there's a two parts that is cos 2 theta plus pi by 4 sorry pi by 6 equals to uh, root 3 by 2 another one is cos 2 theta plus pi by 6 equals to minus root 3 by 2 so there's a two parts now we cast diagram all student trust cambridge or astc diagram or we can say cast diagram cast cast diagram you know in this uh, a, a a means a for all sine cos tan everything it all are positive in that quadrant the second quadrant sine is positive uh, third quadrant uh, tan positive fourth quadrant is cos positive now first quadrant if it is theta second quadrant it is uh, pi minus theta since it is less than 180 and starting from uh, this line now third quadrant is pi plus theta and fourth quadrant is 2 pi minus theta so uh, this is the scenario so we can apply now this is since root 3 by 2 before that there's a positive sign you can consider so cos is positive in first quadrant and fourth quadrant so we can write uh, cos inverse root 3 by 2 if we see that uh, if we check the calculators in radian mode first of all okay it's in radian mode now so uh, cos of cosine of i mean shift cos inverse root 3 by 2 close the bracket is pi by 6 now let me choose 2 theta plus pi by 6 equals to we can x then 2 pi minus pi by 6 and if we go in anti-clockwise sense we can say this is minus pi by 6 okay now let us simplify 2 theta equals to 0 2 pi minus 2 pi by 6 then minus 2 pi by 6 okay now theta equals to 0 then 12 12 to 10 pi by 12 minus pi by 6 so this is out of range so this is cancelled now let me see that one since this is next one is minus so we can a s t c since cos is negative in this quadrant and that quadrant this is pi minus theta this is pi plus theta so we can write 2 theta plus pi by 6 equals to pi minus pi by 6 since cos inverse root 3 we will always ignore this minus sign this minus sign is only for uh, a position in the quadrant so next thing is pi plus pi by 6 let us write 2 theta equals to uh, it is pi minus 2 pi by 6 and this is pi so this is 
uh, this can be pi by 2 for theta this is not acceptable since uh, our range pi by 2 is not included now for this one uh, 6 2 6 6 minus 2 4 4 pi by 4 pi by 6 6 times 2 that is 12 so 3 so theta equals to uh, minus pi by 6 0 and pi by 3 so this is the result of that trigonometry equation so for solving these types of question uh, you need more practice now let us solve these types of question this is polynomial px is such that px equals to uh, ax q plus bx square plus cx minus 5 where a b c are integers it is given that p dash 0 equals to 12 p prime 0 equals to 0 I mean differentiated result equals to 0 p if differentiate the result is if x is substituted that is 0 it is also given 3x minus 1 is a factor of px and remainder is 95 when divided by x minus 2 okay it is also given that px has a factor 3x minus 1 and the remainder 95 when divided find it out p prime x equals to 3 ax square plus 2bx plus c equals to uh, i mean uh, we can put uh, 0 later on uh, sorry uh, x is 0 so we can write 3a times 0 square plus 2b times 0 plus c equals to 12 since this is 12 given now c goes to 12 this is the first part and second part it is given 3 minus x uh, 3 minus 3x minus 1 is a factor that means x equals to 1 by 3 we will plug in in that uh, a times 1 by 3 whole cube plus b times 1 by 3 whole square plus c times 1 by 3 minus 5 equals to 0 now we can simplify a by 27 plus b by 9 plus uh, c c is uh, we got earlier that is 12 1 by 3 minus 5 equals to 0 so 3 fours are 12 so a by 27 plus b by 9 equals to 4 minus 5 that is 1 so a plus uh, 3b equals to 27 so this is equation number 1 now in similar way we can see that x minus 2 is uh, if we divide uh, remainder is 95 so uh, let me write a times 2 cube plus b times 2 square plus c times 2 minus 5 equals to 95 now 8a plus 2b since c is 12 that is 24 minus 5 equals to 95 so 8a plus 2b equals to that can be um, so uh, 576 and divided by 4 2a no 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 this is 4b 4b so divided by 4 then b is uh, 4 1 36 so 4, 19 so i mean uh, this is second equation now equation 1 and equation 2 we can simplify okay uh, this equation 2a uh, we can multiply by 3 or we can multiply okay anyways we can do so 2a plus 6b equals to 54 i multiplied equation 1 by 2 so 2a plus 6b uh, if i subtract minus 5b equals to 54 minus 19 54 minus 19 it is 35 okay so minus 35 so b equals to 7 let me use these values to find a uh, from equation 1 plus 3 times b equals to 3 times 7 equals to 27 so a equals to 3 7 21 if it goes right side minus 21 20, 27 minus 21 that is 6 so this is a's value this is b's value and that is c's value so we have 
got the value of a b and c okay now question six uh show that the equation px equals to zero has only one real root so uh, let me copy the question first let me uh, take see the question a x cube i mean six x cube px equals to six x cube then b is b is seven plus seven x square plus seven x square then plus 12x 12x minus 5 plus 12x minus 5 okay now in the, it is mentioned in the question clearly that is 3x minus 1 is a factor okay so uh, we can factorize this one then we can divide long division or uh, synthetic division it's critical or uh, any other methods we can use so we can write 3x minus 1 we can divide that one so 3 uh, 3x minus 1 3x minus 1 let me put here 2x square so it can be 6x cube minus 2x square so if we subtract that it will be 9x square plus 12x minus 5 now we can write here uh, plus 3x so it is becoming 9x squared minus 3x so 15x minus 5 so plus 5 that is 15x x minus 5 so it is becoming 2x squared uh, one factor is 3x minus other factors is 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 equals to 0 now let me use b square since there is no only one real root so it the uh, one root can be x equals to 1 by 3 so other roots let me check uh x square b square minus 4 ac so b is 3 square minus 4 times 2 times 5 9 minus uh, uh 20 40 so it is becoming minus 31 less than 0 no other real roots other real roots we know b square minus 4ac uh, uh rather than zero two real roots two real and distinct roots b square minus 4ac goes to zero uh two real and equal roots uh less than zero there is no real roots uh, we have used the discriminant of quadratics okay uh this question is it is given from uh um, permutation and combinations you know six digits numbers is to be formed using 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 each digits can be used only once in any six digits numbers our uh, six digits numbers cannot start with zero obviously six digits numbers cannot be started with zero now find how many six digits numbers can be formed how many six digits numbers can be formed okay so first question always it can be very easy just use the this is uh, arrangement since number fact number matters arrangement so uh, we are going to uh, i mean uh, without any condition directly we can apply uh, from six digit numbers two three four five six digit numbers uh, if you apply this one with zero and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there are uh, nine more digits now we can apply nine p five okay nine p five so from ten taking six uh, the all the numbers with six digits but starting with zero then minus 9p5 now check ten p six 
minus 9 p5 so 1 3 1 3 6 0 8 0 okay why do i subtract 9 p5 the main reason is that when you are finding out 10 p6 that is this all are six digits numbers but if you start with zero this all are becoming meaningful meaningless so that numbers the numbers with uh, starting zero that should be subtracted so i subtracted uh, 9 p5 these all the numbers just starting with zero find how many six digits numbers are divisible by five okay <laughs> there can be two options 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It can be 0 and second one is, can be 5. Okay. But in... Uh, okay, first let me finish uh, with ending 0. Uh, there are 9 more numbers. So, from 9 more numbers, we can fill uh, 5 space... Uh, in uh, 9 p5 ways 9 p5 ways okay then okay second one is also 9 p5 ways it's all right but from there if you start with zero that will be that will not be of six digits number so we can subtract uh, starting with 0 that is 8 p 4 so 9 p 5 plus 9 p 5 minus 8 p 4 now let us check uh, use calculators to find out 9 shift p 5 into 2 minus 8 shift p 4 2 8 2 8 5 6 0 okay so this is the answer for this question Okay, next question. A committee of seven people is chosen from six doctors, seven, ten nurses and eight dentists. Find the number of committees that look. This is matter of committee. That means selections. Selection matters. That is combination. A committee, it is having seven peoples. Okay. There are seven peoples. Now, From seven peoples, uh, seven peoples will be choos chosen from uh, six doctors, ten nurses, and eight dentists. So, find the number of committees that can be chosen. Randomly, you can choose. From how many peoples? There are 10, 8, 14, that is 14, 10, 24. From 24, just choose seven peoples. There is no problem at all. Directly use uh, I mean uh, calculators to find out 27 27 sorry 27 shift up C 7 so it is becoming Find the number of committees. No. Shift C. Twenty seven now. Twenty four. Twenty 
24 shift c 7 34 34 6104 okay so find the number of committees that can be chosen if all the doctors have to be on the committee all the doctors that means this is seven peoples okay. one two three four five six seven uh, you must fill all this space by six one two three four one two three four five six doctors now six doctors is okay but there are 10 nurses and eight dentists remaining so this place can be filled by any nurse or any dentist so 10 plus 8 18 c1 way so 18 c1 if i use calculators that is 18 ah uh, next there is given find the number of committees that can be chosen if there has to be at least one dentist on the committee it's marks is two so that's not too hard okay so without dentist if i find out without dentist how many uh, teams we can make so there is total 16 with doctors and nurse so 16 c seven see this is without dentist i mean 16 c so let's check what is the result Sixteen shift C seven. So this is becoming one one four four zero. Okay. Now with dentist total there are with dentist there are total it can be uh twenty four sorry twenty four. 24 shift c7 so this is 36 346 104 now uh, uh, this is with all dentist this is with all dentist now with at least one dentist now let us subtract minus 114404 so okay this is becoming now three three four six six four okay that's nice this is the final answer okay this is the two marks so this is the function uh, i mean quadratics completing the square uh, for x greater than equal x uh, f inverse x exists find at least possible values of x you know uh, we can uh, write this you can find out in that way 3x plus 1 greater than equal 0 so x greater than equal 1 by 3 so a equals to 1 by 3 okay sorry minus 1 by 3 and using the values of x right using the values of x using the values of a write down the range of f so it's a, a bit completing the square this 4 minus 4 so fx uh, I mean greater than equal minus 4 now we need to sketch inverse function and function both the things together you know function uh, that is exactly in function and inverse function it's reflection with y equals to x so let me draw y equals to x first of all y equals to x this y equals to x now we can draw this is quadratics so turning point uh, minus 1 by 3 and minus 4 minus 1 by 3 turning point minus 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 3 and minus 4 and uh,
and if x is 0 y is minus 3 minus 3 and if fx equals to 0 then we can write 3x plus 1 whole square minus 4 equals to 0 so 3x plus 1 equals to this is 4 plus minus 2 if it is plus 2 then 3x equals to uh, 1 I mean 1 so x equals to 1 by 3 so we can write here 1 by 3 here so this is basically quadratics though I'm not perfect enough to draw that type of graph okay now this will be reflection with y equals to x it will be here then here and then we can find out here so exactly it will be in that way reflection so it is y equals to f inverse x this is y equals to fx i mean inverse x and fx both are reflection with y equals to x this is four marks now you need to show all this intersecting point uh, this is up, up minus three zero and this is zero one by three okay so this is the graph the, i mean it's quite easy to solve okay now let us come for question number b it is uh, uh, it looks like a composition of function a is gx okay a is gx uh, a is gx equals to 4 uh, we need to find out the answers in exact form it, we cannot find the answers in decimal places so first of all a is gx a is gx gx is ln 2x square plus 5 and this is gx and maybe i mean mistake no it's all right now hx three times ln 2x square plus 5 minus 2 equals to 4 now 3 ln 2x square plus 5 this is 6 so ln 3x square plus 5 equals to 2 and ln goes it will be 3x square plus b 5 equals to e to the power 2 and 3x square equals to e square minus 5 x square equals to e square minus 5 divided by 3 so x equals to uh, we can write plus or minus though logarithm is given x greater than minus 5 so we need to ignore minus sign so it will be e x square minus 5 over 3 so this is the uh, uh, final answer of uh, question b so it carries the marks 3 let us come for question number 9 this is a lengthy process i mean uh, the stress to solve the whole question is quite difficult i'm trying though uh, trying to pay complete attention uh, after so many days i'm trying this question paper i'm trying to solve this question paper so i hope it will be helpful for you uh, let me solve this question this is question number four. solve the equation okay 12 x over 1 by 3 i mean whole square minus 5 by x over 1 by 3 whole square minus 11 equals to 0 let us consider this as y okay though some people uh, you may not be able to solve directly so uh, use that in that way so y equals to x to the power 1 by 3 so 12 y squared minus 5 by y squared minus 11 equals to 0 now multiply all the terms by y squared so it is becoming 12 y to the power 4 minus 5 minus 11 y squared equals to 0 so 12 y to the power 4 minus 11 y squared minus 5 equals to 0 now we need to factorize 5 twelves are 60 now problem is that how what ways can we make it 11 
आई डोंट नो मे बी आई नो आप टू थर्टी टू ओ फिफ्टीन फोर यस थैंक यू दैट्स ग्रेट फिफ्टीन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव इक्व टू जिरो नाउ टेक वाई इज वाई स्क्वायर इज ए कमन दैन साइड बाय साइड थ्री ऑल्सो थ्री वाई स्क्वायर फोर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव प्लस वन कॉमन फोर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव इक्व टू जिरो सो वाई स्क्वायर इक्व टू माइनस वन बाई थ्री y goes to minus root over minus one by three, not real root, no real root, real roots, not acceptable, not acceptable. Now y square equals to five by four, and y already I have considered x to the power one, x to the power one by three. So x to the power two by three equals to five by four. We can do cube. X square equals to ah. Uh, So one twenty five divided by sixty four, sixty four, and then square root. I don't know what will be square root. Let me try. Try. Let me try. Uh, one twenty five divided by sixty four. Square root of answer. One point three nine or one point four zero. So x equals to one point four zero. That's great. It's a very good maths to solve. Ah, uh, now let us solve question number ten. Okay. Ah, uh, this is from ah uh, maybe circular measure. So let's try. In this. Question: All lengths are in centimeter and all angles are in radian. The diagram shows a batch which consists of minus. But what about BC and uh, I mean CD? Hmm. We can find out the theta. I don't know what will be the use of that. This theta. L equals to r theta. Okay, r theta. I mean twenty seven equals to. Uh, Twelve theta, so theta equals to twenty seven by twelve. That is nine by four. Ah, uh, this is the values of theta. Okay. Oh, that's great. Now we can find out this angle. This is since nine by four. This is pi minus nine by four, and this is twelve. So easily we can find out BC. This is opposite. So ten pi minus nine by four equals to BC by twelve. BC by twelve. Now BC equals to twelve ten pi minus nine by four. We can. Simplify this. Ah, uh, twelve. This is in radian. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fourteen point eight six. So now perimeter will be ah. Uh, this is twenty seven plus twenty four. Twenty seven plus twenty four. Twenty four plus two into ah uh, fourteen point eight six one two. So this is three S F eighty point seven. Ah, uh, find the area of the batch. Okay. Okay. We are finding out area. So area of first of all, ah, uh, this is this part half R square theta half. Twelve square theta theta is ah uh, nine by four first one part finished then there's a two triangle plus fourteen point eight c fourteen point eight 
6 into 12 since there is a 2 triangle a half into 2 ok ok that's great 10 this is the area of the batch now question 11 now let us solve this uh, is from uh, I mean vector first of all OA is A OA is let me label OA is A so if, if you write with colorful things it looks great and then B uh, AZ equals to AZ equals to lambda AX and midpoint of OB is X if uh, so this is B by 2 so AX is AX is minus a plus b by 2 okay b by 2 uh, underline form since it is vector quantity but we are finding out oz okay as it is az is lambda times ax that means minus a plus b by 2 okay so we can write oz equals to a plus lambda minus a plus b by 2 okay so that means we can we can simplify this 1 minus lambda a plus b by 2 lambda okay fine now we need to find oz uh, using this condition oz is minus a plus b and then a y equals to half a plus half b okay that's fine we got a y so o y will be a minus half a plus half b that means half a plus half b this is o y so there is given o z equals to mu o y okay so now let me substitute uh, that uh, mu by 2 a plus mu by 2 b mu lambda and mu let me copy all this again so we can uh, write the two things uh, in equal mm, mu by 2 a plus mu by 2 b equals to 1 minus lambda a plus b by 2 lambda comparing the coefficient of a and b mu by 2 equals to 1 minus lambda mu by 2 equals to lambda by 2 so mu equals to lambda plus mu equals to 3 by 2 mu equals to 1 so mu equals to 2 by 3 same as lambda equals to also 2 by 3 okay now hence uh, uh, oz is in terms of so oz equals to mu by 2 a plus mu by 2 b okay now let me use these values this is 1 by 3 a plus 1 by 3 b done this is the last question maybe okay 
explain why the curve does not exist for x less than 0. Mm. We cannot do square root of negative number okay now dy dx can be written in the form of that so let us do dy dx that means we need to differentiate uh, since it is y equals to root over 5x minus 2 divided by x minus 3 so dy dx equals to uh, this u by v so we can write dx of u by v equals to down v square v dy du by dx minus u du by dx whole square then uh, we can write v as it is i can differentiate u we can write here at uh, 2 root 5x minus 2 into 5 minus uh, let me keep u 5x minus 2 into x minus 3 whole square <coughs> 2 multiplying numerator and denominator by uh, 2 5 2 root 5x minus 2 so this is 5x minus 3 2 5x minus 2 now simplify this uh, Five x minus fifteen minus ten x plus four divided by whole square. Simplify now. Minus five x minus eleven divided by two root over five x minus two x minus three whole square. Okay, that's the end of the. Uh, I mean end question of this question paper so I think I have completely done all these things uh, I try to clear all this concept uh, so if it is helpful for you then I'll be satisfied so see that video 